Okay. <laughs> Next up we have uh, Professor Annis, who's fan of comedy. So uh, I know it's hard to follow that, but <laughs> time to go bananas, Annis. <laughs> Woody Allen's right, by the way. Never, ever follow a comic who has people laughing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they are required, however, by uh, the IRB uh, to uh, warn that uh, my experiment has not been approved for children. Okay. So, for any young people in the audience, this is, uh, this is the time to leave. <laughs> Many of you know, but obviously not lots of you don't. This is Good Friday. You know how many Catholics are here? See, yeah, I'm sure you're going to admit it, you know, but, uh, but that's okay, because my brother Sean uh, just got back from the Vatican, as you know. Uh, this week he was in the running to be Pope. But uh, he said that he had no desire to be Pope. He said he bought a round trip ticket. He said being Pope's like being a prisoner in a museum, uh, and he's happy to be back in Boston, but it's a lie, you know, I mean, he's a good guy and everything, but he's been crying himself to sleep uh, every night of this week, you know, he said even uh, when Francis was elected, he went to him and said, Francis, uh, we've got two popes now, can't we have three, can't we work something out, uh, but it didn't work, uh, and Francis told him, look, you line prisoner in a museum, that's your predecessor, that's cardinal law. <laughs> <laughs> Francis Jesuit, young defender of the faith, cardinal law was a defender of uh, priest pedophiles. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny, right? I agree, it's, uh, it's not funny. Um, <laughs> the reason now uh, that uh, my brother wanted to be, uh, but to be pope was that he liked the infallibility thing. Uh, you know, it's only, you're only infallible in matters of faith and morals. And with Francis, it's Francis, I've been fellow with a matter of faith and morals, as long as Benedict agrees with me. <laughs> and as you may know, Mayor Bloomberg says he's infallible in matters of public health. Uh, but only as long as Leonard Lance agrees with me. <laughs> <laughs> and the mayor's had a tough time of it lately, as you probably know, his big uh, sugary drinks law was struck down by the courts uh, as being overindulgent and you could have other kinds of sugary drinks. So the mayor said he's going to start hiding cigarettes. He actually started tonight here, and he asked uh, uh, someone's hidden this carton of cigarettes here in the, in the uh, auditorium. I, maybe you can find them. I don't know if anybody's going to look for them. But, uh, but that, that was a problem. And, and he also got, was getting a lot of blowback on his uh, teenage pregnancy. We're working the last act here. Pretend it's just one long act. Uh, <laughs> That uh, he's, he's sentenced to shame the teen, the teen pregnancy. He's got, he's got posters all across New York uh, of little children uh, saying bad things to their mothers. Like my favorite one is a little boy who says to his mother, You know, if because you had me when you were a teen, I want twice as much chance of graduating from high school. To which she responded, uh, you little shit. Uh, <laughs> I had to have you when I was a teen. You wouldn't exist at all. So shut up and go away. <laughs> Which of course is true. But the uh, but the main uh, the main public health issue last week, uh, or actually this week, uh, was about the tweens. I don't know what a tween was. Little teens, teenagers. Anyway, it's a, it's a big scandal about Victoria's Secret, and the parents started this giant. Uh, uh, Facebook page arguing that uh, Victoria's Secret was trying to hook these little girls and make them into a sexual objects long before uh, the time that they should be. So they're selling uh, these pants, obviously they sell lots of pants, but these have uh, sayings on them and they're for the little girls, you know they're for the little girls because they're extra, extra small. And the sayings, and we all know this, uh, you know, for me, I had to spend a lot of time at the computer checking this out. Uh, <laughs> I'm not telling you guys to do here. Uh, but the slogans that the parents objected to uh, were, uh, dare you, call me, these are on the pants, okay. uh, wild thing, 
and he kissed me. Actually, kiss me was on the towel. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Uh, so immediately, this is true, immediately Cardinal Law tweeted out from the Vatican, what a great idea. We're going to get a line of briefs for altar boys. Yeah. <laughs> he said there's no Catholics here. <laughs> so what we need to focus on, we couldn't think of anything to write on. So I'm going to have to ask you that. Uh, what would you write on the briefs for the altar boys? We got, we got what? The only thing Cardinal Law could think was, bless me, Father. Oh. <laughs> that would be too easy for you guys. All right. <laughs> Let's move to torture. That's much more... Uh, <laughs> no, we do a lot of horrible things with the health law department. But, uh, <laughs> my buddy Sandra Cross, we spent half our life at Guantanamo here tonight. And, uh, you know, I saw the movie. I'm sure you all saw the movies through a dark 40. I knew from Sandra that uh, at Guantanamo they have, uh, they have a McDonald's and uh, they have a Subway so everybody eats well. Uh, but I didn't, I didn't know until I saw the movie with, uh, with Jessica Ch Chastain at, at the CIA, at the dark sites around the world, uh, where they torture people, uh, has a whole series of hair salons. <laughs> See the movie, you saw Jessica Chastain's torture his hair, you know? And you've got to explain the joke, it's not good. Uh, so a general started to general for training. The so good general apologized, as you probably know. He like, gave a speech uh, three days ago. And he apologized uh, for his affair with uh, his uh, biographer. Uh, and he said that uh, he'd slipped his mooring. <laughs> I, it's better than you know being lost on the Appalachian Trail, but still, I don't know what the hell he, he was talking about. But he missed the point. You know, Americans weren't mad at him for screwing Paula Broadwell. That's perfectly understandable. Uh, he was the director of the CIA, and he didn't know that Gmail wasn't secure. There we go. That was good. Okay. <laughs> so. Um, well, it wasn't, you know, it was no much worse than uh, General McChrystal who lost his job because he thought that when you're out drinking in a Paris bar with the press, it's off the record. <laughs> <laughs> Where do we get these guys? Uh, well, we get it from public health. They're all from public health, right? Uh, and uh, we're going to end, end tonight with a lesson. It says, you know, Professor, you've got to learn something. And you're going to learn about uh, the race. The race car. We have, uh, we all know about that. I mean, General Crystal had his thing, you know, in Afghanistan. He had, they all had slogans. You know. His was find, fix, and finish. Three F's he called it. You know. And uh, General Petraeus had his own thing for coin, the counterintelligence, uh, which was clear, hold, and build. See how well that worked out. Uh, <laughs> and then they wound up finally saying Afghanistan good enough. <laughs> that's our current that's our current view. But we have race. How many know what race is? How many have your IDs with you? How many have your IDs with you? I don't either, but I have a but let's get we have them you take them off, alright? It's a little red thing on And on the red thing, this is the best kept secret of BU, right? <laughs> is uh, the preparedness of that you're supposed to learn from race in the little acronym. Uh, in case there's a fire in this building, and you wouldn't have any goddamn idea what to do with your parents, right? But you should do race, and, uh, which is because that's for rescue, alert, confined, and extinguish. And then there's alternatives here rescue, or remove, alert, activate, confine, the fire, extinguish, or evacuate. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what to do with those, but uh, the only thing I can think of is uh, we have some public health underwear, all right, and we have to figure out which one of those words to use on our public health underwear. <laughs> and the two, I guess, the two best ones are either remove or evacuate. <laughs> to confession on Wednesday this week because, you know, it was Holy Wednesday and that's what we Catholics do. But now I feel like I really need to go to confession after that. That's <laughs> well, I'll give you three hours while there's a free Well, thank you. Um, 
Um, but I would call that F for fantastic. Good job. <laughs> say that you made me blush, and I'm glad I took help for last semester. <laughs> mm. Mm. You better work with your own soul. I can envision a whole bunch of 50-year-olds throwing their pennies at you. <laughs> You're hitting me somewhere, bald boy, with your bald head. That hit me somewhere. 